Hey everyone, this is Austin of Tri-Ace Gaming. Want to give, wanting to give you guys a quick video disclaimer, and what that is basically is that this whole part has no game audio, and why? And if, and the reason why is that I don't know what happened, but apparently there was a error in the capture card process or something, and it caused to record our commentary instead of the game audio. So, yeah. So don't worry, that problem is fixed. But for this part only, you're not won't be hearing any game audio. Anyway, that's all I wanted to see you talk to you guys about, so have fun, and I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, this is Austin. And this is Jason. And welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Part 6, and today we're going to go fight a boss. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Yep. And before I s we get started, I guess I, I guess since I haven't meant, if I mentioned this or not, but we are getting pretty close to the end, guys, probably after this part and one more part, then pretty much we're done with this LP, Are you you look you excited, Jason? Well, excited to get this one done, yeah. Yeah, but all right, let's get this over with, shall we? First off, we're gonna go and take on the boss known as Pinstripe Porteroo. So let's get this over with. Let's see what he's about. It's actually a pretty fun fight. Oh shit! Yep. <laughs> So fucking gun, Jesus. Yeah, he's got a Tommy. He's a mob boss. He's a he's a CEO of the Tommy gun. If any younger child made it to this level, yeah. So what you have to imagine do what they're thinking right now. All right. So what you have to do is like right now I'm taking cover behind this this pretty much chair, and that's how you have to do to make sure you don't get hit by his gunfire. And when he does that, when he moves near you, you gotta spin him, spin at him. Sorry. For the wind. And you automatically cover too, so yeah, huh. a cover system way before they were invented. I did not know that, or let that sink in for like a minute or two. That's pretty freaking awesome. Yep. I'm still laughing at at least fucking All right. shooting at you. Ah, I missed. Oh, him. he gets up on the table. Oh crap! I almost got hit. Wow. This is the best boss in the. This is the best boss ever. Pretty funny boss when you think about it. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, gotta go, gotta go, go. Oh crap, I missed. Damn you, chair. Damn, damn, down again. Wow. Got a picture of Cortex on it. Yeah, I know. On his wall. Probably yeah. jacks off to it at night. Dude. Wait, what? That's his picture, not mine. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Wow, I'm stuck. Oh. That was good. There you go, you're at the highest point on the screen. I broke the game. Not really. I believe I can fly. Freaking. Alright, next up, the high road. Boy, I wonder what that's about. Oh boy, another one of these levels. They sure make me feel better. I do apologize that the commentary was gone in part four, and I died. I still hate this these levels, though. They're pretty awful. Okay, not awful, just annoying. I guess I have to question what the hell is a turtle doing in this level. Actually, here's a better question. Why isn't a turtle in this level? But there are turtles in this level. Exactly. Actually, I don't know where I was going with that joke, to be honest. I guess confusion? Did it work? Uh, yes. Definitely confused me. Alright, then. And I died. Hmm. That turtle is one fast killer. Everything is fast and wants to kill me. But it's a turtle, for goodness sakes. Man, snapping turtles bite. I wonder. I've seen a snapping turtle before, but that was always as a little kid. And, like, one of the things that was really retarded is everybody was like, Watch out, it's a snapping turtle. It's like, well, telling me that, I'm not going to want to pet it. And 
I never did. Granted, I put all these pieces together when I was like seven years old. Wow. So, yeah, I was like, you know, well, if it's going to snap at me, why would I pet it? True story. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I think it was my cousin's turtle. Anyways, back to the main point. It's a freaking turtle. It's supposed to be slow. Oh, I didn't anticipate that. Alright, well, that makes a little bit more sense. I, I guess those things would try and buck you in real life. Poor turtle. At the same time, you're talking about a video game, so... Video games, they... They're dumb. Let's be real here. Video games are best when they're dumb. Um, not all video games. Well, maybe all of them. There's gonna be the big artsy-fartsy ones, like... Bioshock Infinite. Like, we have to be honest... And um, The Last of Us. Some of the games that end up dumb are actually, like, really funny, like... Saints Row? Yeah, stuff like that. It's like the psychotic version of Grand Theft Auto. No, it's not the psychotic version, more like the less serious, more fun Grand Theft Auto. Well, I definitely believe it's more fun, but what I mean by psychotic is the way they go about crime. Uh, know, it's kind of like soft-hearted when it shouldn't be. It's just like, yeah, this is just a business. We kill people. We're in Grand Theft Auto. Well... At least in a more realistic manner, they portrayed, like, these criminals as, like, believable. Um, granted, I'm talking about the fifth one, because it's the only one I can remember recently. I remember all of them. Except the ones on the PS1. I didn't, I didn't play those. I actually remember San Andreas, but that one was... I liked San Andreas. That one was ingrained into my head. Let's be honest. I can't forget about that one. San Andreas was... I think it was one of those games that told you that Grand Theft Auto was going to be good. You know. A lot of people liked... A lot of people do say San Andreas wasn't that good or something. And, like, it's Vice City. I know, in my honest opinion, every Grand Theft Auto game got better after free. Free was good for the time, let's be real, it's, it hasn't aged very well. Uh, I'm not going to lie either, but then again, it's like, if there's going to be like this big division between Vice City and San Andreas and stuff, I'm just going to say this. I've played both, both are good. End of story. I don't care. I think everyone pretty much has settled with 5. I would have to say I'd settle with 5 too. That one... Like, for a Grand Theft Auto game, it kind of just simply met your expectations and put a little bit more. But, you know, you know how it is if you're a Grand Theft Auto fan. You meet your expectations by pretty much portraying it a little bit more realistically. In a sense that, in the fifth one, they almost took it too far. You know, like, it was a little bit too realistic. But then again, that's a good thing. You know, uh, I guess that that's something that you can debate on whether you should give them a compliment about it or not. But oh, I see. That. Anyways, yeah. Oh yeah, I beat the level. And now let's go to the next one. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty good uh, thing to talk about, though. Actually, yeah. Well, holy sh! Oh, this one. Yeah, I hate this level. This level is one of the harder levels because, well. That shit, for one. Not really, but all the shit in here. Although, if I play my cards right, no, I'm not going for that life box. I don't care. Can you save that for later if you don't get to the checkpoint? I'm not trying to jinx you or anything, but just... If I feel... Nah, eh, maybe. I... Actually, you kind of hurt my brain. I'm confused now. I... Alright, for example, if you die before you hit the... Uh, yeah, 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 you can still get it. Alright, that's cool. That'll only help, I guess, just in case. I'm not getting that one. Same too. with that one, though. Yeah, same with that one, but I ain't doing it because, hell no. Not because I don't want, well, not because I don't want to. It's like, I think I'll, I'm afraid of screwing up, and I don't want to screw up now, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't blame you. I just want to get through, is it, through this as much as possible. The stairs of this part. 
Yep. You're gonna go. You. Damn it. You were tedious as hell. I swear. <sighs> and Crap. you didn't hit a checkpoint at that rate. No, I was about to. This crashes traction for when he's moving in the first game is pretty bad. Second game and third game, it was so much better. So saying he's he's basically 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 Luigi. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I mean, who else has bad traction? But is pr and for this Mario Brothers games, I'm pretty sure it was made that way on purpose. Because yeah, because Luigi was like at least in the older games he was meant to be like hard mode pretty much. And wow, I screwed that up. It looked like you bounced on something at first. Anyways, oh, you got this. I can do it. This is just this level's a bit of an attrition. Hey, look, a friend of mine's offline. Thanks, friend, for being offline. I gave there's your shout out. Oh yay! Shout out to whoever the hell that was. Oh, uh, there's my half-assed shout-out. I didn't even plan it. No. Um, we will have something at the end of the video for you guys, but for right now, don't worry about that. Yeah. I think I know a pretty good part to end this on, depending on how long this level goes, but... Either way... Let's just promise each other that we'll get it done this LP. This level, at least. Yeah. I like how we say will when honestly you're the one doing all the work. No. I just get to sit and watch. At the same time, though, if you weren't here, my sanity would be less in check than it, than it sometimes is. Especially Please. on a level like this. Oh, yeah. Whoops. My, my bad. The checkpoint's far further ahead. Wait, I think it's up here. No, it's not. Makes the level all the more dangerous. No, 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 no. Oh. I got you so... Got I would, That was so lucky. Okay, you are cutting it real close there. I know. Damn. All right, you should be at the checkpoint now. Where the hell is it at? It's up there. There it is. There it is. I was about to say it was kind of getting ridiculous. And my palms are already sweating. That's amazing. Just as well. Samus's morph ball is in there. Hey Samus, will you make another game, please? Yeah, no kidding. Needs one as about as much as Star Fox does. Star Fox is getting one, though. Actually, this is kind of another topic I wanted to bring up. Yeah, sounds I like. I wonder if anyone will like say anything to this too. What? Um, have you ever noticed the Fire Emblem characters are obvious, but because of a Smash Bros. game, have you ever noticed like people like? realizing and noticing other games because of it. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a lot of things. It's like, it gets, uh, apparently, like, because of Smash, it gets people's attention towards these other games. Like, the Fire Emblem one was so obvious, but then, like, honestly, the Mother games and stuff, that was also from Japan. I never would have known those as a little kid. Um, to be fully honest, um... One of the more popular one that I barely knew was actually a Kirby. I uh, knew about Star Fox. I definitely wait. knew about the Mario Brothers. Oh, I but screwed that Kirby up. Kirby was like, it was one of those weird ones. And not you to never, mention it was made by Sakurai, you know? You never, wait, did you, does that mean you never watched the Kirby anime? Um, no. I've heard about it now, but nope, never watched it. You have angered me. Well, I'm sorry. Anyways, I actually wait a minute. Before I get too far, I think I've seen scenes from it. I had to have, because this is not the first time someone's mentioned it to me. That's a biohazard, you bastard! <laughs> we beat that jackass and the level. Wow, I, I beat the level. Wait, I didn't die. I didn't die, technically. Actually, I'm, I'm confused, really. I don't know how this shit works. I don't know. I don't know why it's saying great. That's I technically weird. died. Well, it says great for when you beat the level without dying, but it says perfect when you beat the level when you get all the boxes. And then it gives you the gem, which is how you 100% the game.
if I haven't mentioned that already. But all right, next level is lights out, and guess what? We're almost we're getting even closer. Well, that's good. And I, this level's okay. Its big gimmick is that hitting these tiki, hitting the tiki emblems. Well, yeah, the big gimmick is this level's in darkness, and so you have to keep hitting the tiki boxes to get to pretty much light it. Pretty much, you know, to get light because it dies out pretty fast. Well, it dies out, but it can be pretty fast if you don't, if you sit around and do nothing. Well, this level looks relatively easy. It can be, but it's like you do have to kind of rush through it in a way because that thing can die. And trust me, I have died a few times. At a few practice, I did practice this level a bit before I did the LP on like a different file, of course. And I did die a little bit to uh, basically darkness and the thing dying out on me. What? That, I will say, again, if you get hit, well, not again, I mean, if you also, if you get hit, you do lose your light source and you're pretty much screwed. So keep that in mind. Now, what are, what the hell are those things? Rats? What yeah, those are giant evil, I think they look like moles because they have red eyes. I guess they're supposed to be evil rats. Evil rat moles. Yeah, that works. Jeez. Yeah. I think I'm rearing ever so closely to the end. You have to be, I bet. I know, I get a weird sense that like, I'm about to end the level. I guess with all those tiki boxes around there, this level's rules are a little bit different. In a way. Up, oh, see that? It's gone. But it's like, I'm fine though. <laughs> Good time to lose the light, I guess. Yeah. Because the next thing you see is the light from the end of the level. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. Is that all we're going to hit for right now on level wise? I think we'll do one more. Alright, yeah, since you got through that one so quickly. Yeah. I do know I plan to make probably this last level, and then, you know, we're done here for now. Sounds good. Seems like a good run, though. This has been going on pretty good. I guess it's like that's the best part about Let's Playing Gear, Jason. Just, you have so much. You do have a lot of fun. That was a spider, right? Yeah, it was a spider. I oh, know, ugly spider. Uh, more of like a classic scary spider that's supposed to just jump scare you, apparently. An actual real life one? Because those, those scare the crap out of me. Um, speaking of spiders that scared you, this is really off topic, but then again it's not, because it's me seeing spiders. So, I was at work the other day, I work at a, you know, a place that does carpets and stuff. So, what happened was, there's dirty carpets, I'm just going to sum this sort of story up really quick. There's dirty carpets out near a dumpster. It's been out there for like five or six months. Freaking nobody cleaned the carpet up. And so, you know, they had to get someone out there to go and clean it up. Um, carpet's all wet. Now here's where this story comes in. It becomes a good place for bugs like cockroaches and stuff to stay in. Well, lift up one carpet damn near... 30 cockroaches crawl out of the thing, literally. I mean, it was a big carpet. There was a bunch of places. Damn. But this is where that thing comes in. I open... No, I didn't open. I lift up another carpet. Freaking three black widows are sitting there, all curled up in their freaking uh, webs. And all of a sudden, one of them realizes that I lift the fucking carpet, and it starts crawling real slowly. I don't know if it was going after me or anything, but I... I fucking threw that thing. I was like, nope, I am not doing that. Jesus. I mean, come on, give me a break. You got three black widows coming at you? Hell. Yeah, I'd find a reason not to do anything like that. I mean, I'm not going to be overly dramatic. They weren't that big, but they weren't that small either. They, you know, I have a feeling that if one of them would have bit me, it still would have fucking hurt. And probably killed me. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, there's a story for spiders, having three of them come at you at once. Especially ones that can easily kill you. Yeah.
Yeah. So this level is a level. Well, I guess that's what makes you have to kind of feel for Crash Bandicoot. Oh, that that was me. I totally outspin that shit. Yeah, it's fine. Anyways, like I was saying, that's what makes you have to feel for Crash Bandicoot. Going through all this bullshit. And not then again having one giant ass spider just pop out in front of you. Not to mention the cobras, too. That's gotta be crazy. In yep. No way. I guess since we're here, I'll show you those guys a secret. Come right here. And do 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 do. Here's a pretty much just one hundred percent trick. Somewhat. Then just do this again. Seems like it puts you through more hell in a way, though. No, uh, not re not really. Just keep moving. It's funny how that happens. I wonder if anybody actually noticed that on one of their playthroughs through the game. Back in the day, without the internet. Probably back in the day, they didn't know anything. Or there is, there was the whole thing of even if they didn't have internet back in the day, they did have the strategy guides. They did have the strategy guides also added to the fact that when they saw at the end of the game that they didn't 100% it, I'm sure, and for anyways, the hypothetical day that we're talking about is just anybody back in the day that played this game, they probably would have realized that there was something more to do. Maybe they wouldn't have been able to find it, but still, it pretty much spells it out for you right there. Hey, you didn't 100% this, it's not completely done yet. And there's no more levels to progress. So, I mean... That... Mm, meh. Pretty straightforward right there. In a way, yeah, but... What a... Eh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, and let's also be honest about another thing. If you're a little kid and you're playing this game and you actually manage to make through it, you honestly think as... I mean, go, as go, you go for it. Yeah, you honestly think as... Like, just looking at it right there and seeing that you've already beat the game, would you really care about 100%ing it? No. I mean, I know when I was a little kid, I didn't even know that there could be alternate endings to video games. I didn't think that they were like that. Here I am now realizing this actually for one of the first times. I played this game, I just didn't know it had a separate ending. Separate what now? A separate ending. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, fine then. Be that way. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, guys, so that's gonna that's gonna be it for now. But I think next part is basically the finale. Because yeah. after this, just after this, uh, then it's a boss fight, and then I think a couple more levels, then the final boss fight. But yeah, looking forward to that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the finale of Cra Crash Bandicoot. This is Austin. Um, I do have an announcement to make before I go. What would that be, Jason? I want to give a shout-out to a friend that I recently made during the day that we made this video. Little, I mean, what's his name again? <laughs> Big... Uh, I'm just gonna call him uh, Big Time Lenny. I think that I think that's what it was called. Anyways, once we figure this out, we're gonna post in the description a link to his. Uh, I believe you said his Twitter, his Twitch account, and obviously his own YouTube account. Um, I, think, I think just his YouTube and Twitch account. All right, well that's fine. Anyways, I do remember what he does though. He so far has a couple video uh, videos out on a. Uh, Nuzlocke version, but it's specifically called Wonderlock. Now, it's pretty cool. Um, just to end it shortly, if you want to see what it's about, if you don't know what a Wonderlock is, just go check his channel out. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, but yeah, see you later. Alright, see you later.